In that form, you won't be able to get your whole body on the horrors. Are you serious? Come on! Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask! I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we're gonna have to turn into a kid to ride our horse because apparently, the Zora is just too big for it. But yeah, what we have planned in this episode is, well, a couple more side quests here around Great Bay, and then we're gonna be making our way to the temple itself. So, let's go ahead and get started. What I wanna do is actually leave this area. Not too far from Great Bay, but there's a really easy piece of heart we can get now that we are, uh, you know, a Zora. At least we can transform into a Zora with our lovely Zora's mask. So, let's go ahead and dismount Epona here. And then, well, you see this rock? Well, what I can do, if I do have bombs, I don't have any, but I can easily take out this instead and blow it up. And jump straight in. And yeah, there's a hole that's just right outside of Great Bay. And what you can do is you can easily hit down these. Oh wait, no, don't do that. Actually, I don't think it matters. Let's go ahead and break it. Let's see what happens. No, don't do that. Oh, it worked. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was like, if it breaks, are we still gonna get the heart piece? B you do. So, surprise, guys. For those of you who didn't know, you'll still get it even if you break it. But if you use your uh, arrows, it actually falls instead of breaks completely. But there's a piece of heart that will fall right from one of these and uh, just pick it up by diving straight down as a Zora. So you can only do this as a Zora Link. And just like that, we are done. Let's go ahead and exit this and start making our way back to Great Bay. I guess I will use a Pona for this because it's not really that far. We just need to do a couple cool jumps and tricks and then try to do, let's pick up some momentum by running back and uh let's try this out so here we go oh okay the opponent literally just clipped over that she didn't even bother like jumping over which is nice i guess <laughs> i don't know but here we are we're back in great bay coast and we're not really gonna be in the coast itself we're gonna start heading towards the left but if we look at the map actually it's not necessarily the left uh i'll actually try to map it out right now so we're gonna be heading straight towards the south of Great Bay Coast. And here we're gonna find something. Actually, I believe there should be a sign that will tell us exactly what we're gonna find beyond this point. So let's go ahead and dismount Epona and check things out. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this. So now rehearsing at Zora Hall, the Zora Band with the deep sea sound. The Indiegogos, that is the name of the band. Finally, we have learned what Macau's band's name is and it's called Indiegogos. Really freaking cool name. Uh, I love the band so much. That's why I like Macau. Macau is like my favorite character within this game just because his title is so awesome. You know, he's a guitarist in a band and he's a freaking Zora, which is my favorite race. And a lot of those things are awesome. Plus the mask uh, transforming in it to the remains of his spirit make you super badass. I mean, look at that. We are freaking Zora, dude. And we can just swim around in water, which I love doing, but... Uh, over here is a waterfall, and this is going to be a really freaking easy piece of heart we can pick up from here. So, fall headwaters, beaver's home, beware of uh, swift currents, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and dive straight down here, and let's go ahead and use our shield just to dispose of this like-like, because I dislike like-likes, and I'm going to keep saying that every time I fight one, because seriously, I actually do dislike them. But there is a piece of heart we can pick up by killing it. We got ourselves a piece of heart and assembled a new heart container. So we are two uh, heart containers within our new row of hearts. Not bad at all. We're just picking up so many easy pieces of heart. There's a couple other easy pieces of heart we'll be able to grab and snatch as well, which will be exciting uh, within this episode. I believe one or two more. So yeah, look forward to that. But now what I want to do is I want to make my way over here i believe we can hook on to this palm tree because if you remember that sign literally just said beaver's home oh whoa did you just see that look how close you're just like spying on me dude <laughs> that is freaky as all heck okay well yeah the beaver's home is actually right up here that we're gonna have to make our way to by hooking ourselves to these palm trees with our amazing and super dandy hook shot so just literally hook yourself from tree to tree until you make it to the way at top um i believe yeah there's an easy chest we can pick up which is actually super duper nice this will give us 20 rupees 
Not bad at all. But let's go ahead and hook our way up here as well. And then there should be one more that will take us to these uh, so-called beavers homes. Um, this area in particular is an area Macau visited before when he was alive. So we're going to be revisiting it as him. And you're going to notice something. So this is kind of cool. It just shows you his progress throughout this area. So this is the Waterfall Rapids. And there's a beaver. A swimming beaver. Another area that just reminds me so much of Banjo-Kazooie. I just don't know why, which I like a lot, though. That's something I like. So if you go ahead and swim towards him, I believe... Okay, well, I guess not. We need to swim wherever he is. Let's go ahead and try to target on him. It should make it easier. Yeah, if you go ahead and head right by him, he will start diving down. So you should do exactly what he does and swim all the way down to the bottom by clicking the B button. There we go. Our iron boots has activated pretty much. We can just walk around like this. It's going to speak to him. So... You again? You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want that empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Coo coo coo. Okay, I'll give it to you, but only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So do you want to try? Sure, this is actually super duper easy. We have to swim through 20 rings that will flash. We'll just swim right behind this beaver and we'll get him. So surprisingly, these beavers are way better swimmers than Zoras who literally live in water. I guess these beavers live too. You know, they like evolve to water beavers. But regardless, uh, I find it really cool because Macau has been here. He wanted to get an empty bottle. The reason why he wanted the empty bottle was for the, uh, was for the Zora eggs to catch him in. We have already done that. We got all the Zora eggs. Heck, we had four bottles on us, so it made collecting them so much easier. But Macau had no bottles on him. And he was desperate to get one, so he came to these beavers, and now he's forced to do a challenge. We may not need the bottle, but I'm a really greedy person, so I'm gonna freaking do this and get the bottle. They don't know that I'm not really Macau. Uh, I'm just someone who's controlling the remains of his spirit through a mask, and uh, we don't need it for any task. But whatever, I mean, he offered it to us, like, you just gotta swim through these rings, and it doesn't seem hard. I mean, look at that. We're literally on his tail, literally, and... Um, we're able to just catch up straight towards him uh, by swimming through these rings. This is just like a normal platformer type mini game. Like I don't know, there's many games I remember playing that just had these similar type uh, type of uh, quests you gotta do, which I like. I like this mini game. Um, it's super fun, easy, and I guess just refreshing to swim in a really long pathway of water, just super fast. And ah, uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Did you call me, little brother? I called you, big brother. Actually... What, an empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. <sighs> Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. To me as well, man. I can't give you just one because you beat my little brother. We can't give you one. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race me. Uh, after you race against me. Okay, sure. Now we have to swim through 25 rings, which is going to amp up the difficulty slightly, but it's still super easy to do. We also have two minutes, so we don't have to necessarily be literally on the dude's tail. Uh, we just have to swim through him fast enough to get it. And, oh, okay. This is what I get for being really cocky. Uh, I ended up not swimming through it, and now I'm having a lot of trouble actually trying to position myself. All right, let's try to do this again. There we go. My bad. Completely messed up my groove there but hopefully we'll be able to do this with ease because we're gonna have to do this a couple more times to complete this whole mini game after beating him we will get the empty bottle but there's also a piece of heart you can get from literally doing this again um and it's supposed to be slightly more difficult but it's not because like i said if you're able to swim fine you'll you'll be good to go i guess i don't know okay let's swim through this holy crap oh this is a little difficult we did it so, um, the edges around these, uh, weird lifesaver circle things are, are, like, solid. If you hit them, you actually get bumped. So you want to make sure, you, as you saw right there, you want to make sure you actually swim through the circle itself without hitting any of the edges, and then you'll be good to go. It's not hard to do because it's really easy to maneuver in water, or, yeah, pretty much underwater as a Zora, but... 
Uh, sometimes you might accidentally hit it without really feeling like you even touched it and it might screw you up. I really like doing these ones where you just like, jump in the air, jump up in the air like a dolphin or something and pick it up. You don't have to do it like that, but I like doing it. It just looks a lot more flashier and cooler. But there are two more left. We have like 20 seconds and the ending is right there. Also, my gosh, the moon, so creepy. <laughs> but there we go. So he did a little brother. Yeah, he did, uh, brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. That's a big mess, brother. Yeah, cool, brother. Then give me the freaking empty bottle, finally. So we underestimated you. Not bad. Now let's go ahead and swim towards them again and do a race against both of them again. Yeah, we're literally gonna be doing the exact same thing. Once again, will be a little more difficult, but it will give us a piece of heart. So why the heck Nah, let's go ahead and start racing them now. So, once again, we're just going to go ahead and do this. It's not that hard at all. We have 10 seconds less this time around against the little brother. And yes, you have to face both of them again. Um, but like I said, it's it's pretty easy because like what we did it on the hard one with 20 seconds to spare. So, we don't really have to worry. We're not really racing them either. Like, you don't have to beat him because I don't think you can actually swim faster than him. Uh, you just have to make sure you're literally on his tail perfectly and you pick up every single one. If you do miss one of these rings, you literally lose. I'll say you cheated and you can't because the reason why these rings are there, it's not really to test your swimming skills, I guess. It's just to make sure you go in the correct route because if you do try taking shortcuts or like cutting close edges, um, you'll not, you won't go through these and you'll most likely get a really good time but you know you won't go through the correct path see like this whole area how you go like left and right and then back and forth and all of that you can easily just head straight to this ring without uh, worrying about that but since there are rings that you have to go through you got to do it like that so yeah <laughs> it's not really complicated but i'm making it sound complicated by over explaining the way this works um, I do like the way the, the map looks. It's super duper long and Okay, I can man, that moon is just freaking eerie as all crap But make sure you head through this one before you go through the the ending because if you do pass to Where we are currently in you won't be able to go back. You pretty much did it So he did it again little brother. He did do it. It's shameful now race me all right one more time and We'll be done with this freaking nonsense there's this back and forth of racing these guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully I can pick up this one. Okay. So once again, 150. This one was a little more difficult because it has more rings. But only five more. That's not hard. I think we can do this again and uh, actually win it. But yeah. Um, also, can Oh, you can use this. You can't see your HUD. But I'm pretty sure I am draining my magic. I don't think they usually let you use it like that. Um, but man, I love the way it looks when you actually use it. Here, I'll use it on a much easier spot. There we go. That freaking blue aura that's around us. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. And you have to head through this side. Whoops. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, swim. Ah, oh, okay, this is bad. It's going to be a whole lot harder because I screwed it up by acting really dumb and using my freaking shield. Uh, I think we can do this still. Swim through it. Yes. Okay. Ah, man, this is bad. It's bad because I don't really want to re- eh, it doesn't matter if I do redo it. Won't be much of an issue. But I do see him. Wow, he's going really slow. Huh, and I was really that scared. Wow. We already caught up to him and we'll make it in time just like he will. So, never mind. We're literally on the final stretch. The little circle around their dome that they hang out in. And just by doing this, we'll be done. We have less than 20 seconds, which is perfect. But yeah, there we go. We have taken, taken on the beaver side quest. <laughs> Simple, but fun. Regardless, even though we have done it, like, what, four times right now? It was still fun. I, I didn't mind doing it each time. And now we can get ourselves a nice piece of heart. So there we go. Awesome. So please... Let it be over. I don't think they want to race this anymore because we're just so freaking badass at this. So I guess I'll leave him alone. I won't annoy him anymore. Now we're back in the Great Bay Coast. 
Uh, I guess that does it for all of the current side quests I want to do before the temple. Now we can start inching our way to the Great Bay Hall, which uh, will actually lead to the temple itself. We, you know, learned the song that is the new wave bossa nova. That song will actually allow us to open up the area to the temple by doing something specifically. Um, and yeah, we can just check out how the Zora's lifestyle is within Zora Hall. It's actually right over there. I'm excited to head there because it's like a really freaking cool area. But hey, Macau, you want to do? Okay, no, I don't want to really want to play with any of these guys. I don't want to talk to anyone. I guess I'll just start inching my way to Zora's Hall and we'll be taking on that. There's not really much to do there once you complete everything we have already done. Like, it's pretty straightforward, but it's it's really cool. I don't know. I'm just excited to show it off because there's a lot of awesome things within this area. So, yeah, I guess that will be in the next episode, though. But thank you all so much for watching this one. In the next episode, we'll take on Zora's Hall or just enter it. <laughs>